High school athletics, a pattern is emerging that must be dealt with. At Lake Catholic High School in the state of Ohio, a lacrosse player painted what appears to be Nazi symbology on his leg. As we take a closer look, it is hard to argue against it. This all came about because Rachel Glazer, a senior who serves as a photographer of opposing Orange High School, snapped photos and did a double take in sheer horror of what she captured. This short video obtained by the Daily Beast captures high school students in in Southern California giving the Nazi salute oh, and singing a song used to inspire Nazi troops. The teens reportedly members of the boys water polo team at Pacifica High School. In Georgia, Cobb Elementary suspended its distribution of this logo, facing backlash for its similarities to Nazi symbology. Wheatland High School saw members of the student body paint Nazi imagery on themselves and pose for a picture. It leads us to ask, what the b is going on in this country at the high school level. In Newport Beach, high school students put red solo cups together in the image of a swastika and do the salute. Let's get back to the lacrosse student. Miss Glazer quickly learned a player from Lake Catholic drew a swastika on his leg. By the time Glazer could focus her camera to search for it, the image was gone. Lake Catholic players huddled up in the third quarter, she said, to brush the image off that player's leg. It was so hard to tell because it was getting dark at that point, Glazer said. Word had traveled pretty quickly from the bench. Everyone at Orange was like, this was not okay, you can't do this. Orange High School Superintendent Lynn Campbell said there was a student wearing a swastika on his leg that was noticed by some of our athletes on the field, Campbell said. I don't know how that went unnoticed and seemingly unaddressed for a large part of the game. It was also reported that a visitor used slurs during the lacrosse game, which saw Orange trounce Lake Catholic 19-7. Cleveland Jewish News wrote, according to Lake Catholic, a player used eye black on his hand to create a swastika. He then pressed impressions on three of his teammates' bodies, Two of the players noticed it on their arms and washed it off. The third had the mark on his leg and did not know about it. According to a statement from the family, he was an unknowing participant. Keep in mind, this is a family protecting their kid. The prank caused an uproar. It wasn't funny. In the end, it cost the Cougars head coach and an assistant coach their jobs. They both stepped down after the incident. It was a joke that went too far. It was straight ignorance. Two alums were at the match and told Cleveland.com they noticed a woman whom they assumed to be a parent approach the playing area to address the issue. She started defending this at first like it was an accident, he said. Then she moved on to say it was a joke. They were doing it for fun. Then she just said, deal with it. I'm Jewish as well, said alumnus Steve Fellinger. It definitely hit me. I've been playing sports my whole life, so unfortunately, I'm used to hearing racial slurs, but it didn't hurt as much because I'm used to it. But there were other Jewish graduates who did not take it as kind. I'm Jewish, so it hit pretty close to home, Glazer said. When you see someone come and attack you personally, you take it to heart. It's crazy how much anti-Semitism is on the rise. You don't feel it until you see it firsthand. With all the examples we listed, and there are many more, it is a clear indication of what is happening in this country. WBUR reported as of July 7th, the presence and visibility of white nationalism are rising in the U.S. and the Patriot Front is one of the groups responsible. The Anti-Defamation League tracked a near doubling of white supremacist propaganda efforts in 2020, which included the distribution of racist, anti-Semitic, and anti-LGBTQ flyers, stickers, banners, and posters. The 2020 data shows a huge increase of incidents from the previous year, with a total of 5,125 cases reported, averaging more than 14 incidents per day compared to 2,724 in 2019. This is the highest number of white supremacist propaganda incidents the ADL has ever recorded. The number of propaganda incidents on college campuses dropped by more than half, perhaps due to COVID restrictions.